Hey, what's up guys? Sean Nalawani here, BodyTransformationTruth.com. And in this video, I want to go over the issue of the leg press versus squats when it comes to building muscle in your lower body. Both exercises use a very similar movement pattern and they both allow you to effectively overload your leg muscles. But is one better than the other? What are the uh, advantages and disadvantages of each? And which one should you ultimately pick for your leg workouts? So the problem with the whole leg press versus squat issue is that there's really no need to turn it into an all or nothing argument in the first place. In reality, both lifts are simply individual tools that you can use as part of your overall leg training approach. And each lift has its own unique benefits depending on uh, the situation. Squats have basically always been considered as the king of lower body exercises. And I would agree that in most situations, for most lifters, squats are going to be the most productive and the most effective overall exercise that you can perform. They build muscle very effectively. They uh, increase your total body strength, power, flexibility, uh, your athletic performance, and they can even help to prevent injuries when you do them properly. So unless there is a specific reason why you can't perform them, then consistent squatting probably should be included as part of your overall leg training approach. Now, that said, and I know that a lot of the hardcore bodybuilders and powerlifters out there probably won't agree with this and they won't want to hear it, but the simple reality is that even though squats are an awesome exercise, when it all comes down to it, they're still not a mandatory lift and you absolutely can build significantly big and strong legs without them. Any exercise out there that puts the targeted muscles under tension and that allows you to consistently increase the weight over time uh, is still going to produce gains in size and strength and there are a lot of options available outside of traditional squats that will accomplish that for you. So the most popular exercise on the list after squats is going to be the leg press. And even though it does tend to get a lot of hate within certain, again, hardcore circles of the bodybuilding community, it's actually a perfectly viable lower body exercise. And it actually even has specific advantages in certain cases. If you have uh, poor body mechanics for squatting, which usually means that you have particularly long femurs, so long upper legs, that's going to force you to bend forward excessively during squatting and leg presses can sometimes be a more productive lift in that case because it makes sure that your legs reach failure rather than your lower back. The leg press also doesn't tax your cardiovascular system or your entire body as a whole in the same way that squats do since you won't have to worry about balancing a heavy barbell on your back throughout the entire lift. And because of that, it makes the leg press a really good follow-up exercise to the squat because it's going to allow you to perform additional volume for your legs without burning yourself out or sacrificing your overall muscular performance. On top of that, it also often works better when you're training in the higher rep ranges, so maybe 12 or more reps per set, because again, squatting in high rep ranges will cause a lot of cardiovascular fatigue, which can reduce your performance and reduce the overall amount of muscular overload that you can achieve. Another thing to keep in mind is that the leg strength that you develop from heavy leg pressing is also gonna have some direct carryover to your squatting strength and even to your deadlifting strength as well. And finally, and although this isn't true in all cases, leg presses are often a good alternative for those lifters who experience a lot of lower back discomfort during the squat, especially if you go with a one-legged leg press uh, because that movement is going to allow you to hit your legs with a high level of intensity while using a relatively light load. Now, I'm obviously not trying to discourage anybody from squatting and I'm definitely not saying that the leg press is better somehow or that it should be used as a replacement for squats. Again, all I'm really trying to point out here is that both of these exercises are viable lifts and there's really no need to pick one over the other. If I had to pick one, then I would definitely go with a basic barbell squat. 
But if you're like most lifters and you're gonna be using a variety of exercises to hit your lower body, then just use a combination of both. And on top of that, if you truly can't perform squats because of some sort of injury, usually to the lower back, then just know that using leg presses as your main lower body compound lift is still going to produce uh, significant gains in size and strength as long as you apply progressive overload over time. Squats are an awesome exercise, but there's really nothing magical about them, and you absolutely can still build an impressive lower body without them. And just as a side note, I know that some people will probably point out uh, that squats are far and away the better exercise because they boost testosterone and growth hormone levels in the body. Uh, but just keep in mind that this point is more likely than not a non-issue because small temporary spikes in these hormones is very unlikely to make any difference to your bottom line gains because in order for testosterone and growth hormone to have any real effects here, the levels of each hormone have to be elevated to very high levels and maintained over time. So even if performing squats does produce a slightly higher increase in testosterone or growth hormone in comparison to the leg press, the difference is likely small and it's probably not relevant in the big picture. So thanks for watching this video lesson. I hope you found the information useful here today. If you want to learn a ton of other science-based, no BS training, nutrition, and supplementation information to maximize your muscle building and your fat burning progress, make sure to head over to bodytransformationtruth.com and grab my complete body transformation blueprint system. And you can do that by clicking the icon at the top of the video or by using the link in the description box below. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. And make sure to check out my official blog over at seannow.com for all of my latest articles, tips, and other updates. Talk to you again soon.